Hi gorgeous, today I'm testing out some weird beauty tips and I'll show you up close and personal if these work or not. And if you like videos like this, please subscribe and you'll always be notified of new ones in the future. First weird beauty tip I have to share with you is one that is actually very practical and if you wince at the sight of any small amount of pain, you're gonna love it. Before you tweeze your eyebrows, take a little bit of a baby teething gel and apply it onto the brow area. Let it sit there for a couple minutes and it will numb the area so that as you're tweezing, you won't feel the pain as sharply as you might usually. And if you're a fan of eyebrow threading, like myself, you can also do this right before you go in to get them threaded and it'll help to minimize some of the sting that goes on with the threading process. Some lipsticks can be really impossible to remove from your lips, but there is one medium that will take off any lipstick, no matter how stubborn the stain or the formula may be, and that is simple Vaseline. If you have a lipstick that you cannot get off of your lips, take some Vaseline, rub it on there, and it'll come right off. This next tip is one that I wasn't so sure about, so I tested it out for you. The tip is to help a pencil eyeliner glide onto your eyes easier, dip it in lip balm before the application. So I tried this one out. And I personally did not see a dramatic difference with this one. It didn't make the eyeliner go on more smoothly, but it did make it a little more slippery, <laughs> which was pretty funny, but yeah, this is one of those tips that, good in theory, didn't really work. Now I recently ran out of makeup remover and I went online trying to find something weird to use to remove my makeup that night. I mean, I could use coconut oil, olive oil, any of those are great and I do use them normally when I run out of my makeup remover, but I wanted something weird. So I found this tip that talked about using honey to remove your makeup. And it also says, oh, it's not gonna strip the face's natural oils and it's soothing to the skin because it has anti-inflammatory properties. So I was sold on this idea. Well, let me just tell you, it's not as sticky as you would think when you apply it, but it doesn't work worth a flip. All this did was give me raccoon eyes, smeared the makeup all around my face. It was pretty terrible, and I ended up having to use coconut oil afterwards to get everything off. It was funny, it was worth a shot, yeah, this one does not work. Another weird beauty trip that you can try and actually does work is to condition your cuticles with medicated lip balm. If you happen to run out of hand lotion or cuticle oil, this is a really great backup to use because just like your lips, your cuticles get dry and dehydrated too and lip balm will help to heal and hydrate them. And I have another use for you for that lip balm if you're looking for another way to use it. If you run out of clear mascara or say you're traveling and you forgot to pack your brow mascara and your brows are all over the place, Place that day, take a little bit of your lip, blom, lip balm and <laughs> brush it into your brows. It'll help to keep them in place. Now, if you're like me when it comes to fingernail polish, I get it everywhere. I don't know what it is. I can't stand the lines. I'm the type of person who likes to go all outside the lines. Always have been. But something that you can do that'll help you stay within the lines of your nails is take a little bit of Elmer's glue and apply it around your cuticles before you apply your nail polish. Let it dry, apply your nail polish like normal, and then peel the Elmer's glue away. Now, if you're like me and you just like to peel things, this is so satisfying in itself. <laughs> but no, it really does help you stay within the lines. And it also feeds some of your OCD if you have some of that going on too. And the last weird tip, although it's not really weird, it's just practical and it makes sense, is if you want to create a lip stain out of any lipstick that you have, simply take a little bit on a flat brush. You can use a concealer brush for this method. It works really well. Press the lipstick into your lips and then take your finger and blur the pigment a little bit more. And this will ensure a longer application with any lipstick that you have, even if you have one that's not very long wearing mix it into your own custom lip stain. You can also mix lipsticks together to create a custom lip stain. Let me know of any weird makeup tips that you've tried that have ended up working really well for you, or if you have some that are just complete fails. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more like this in the future, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.